service standard next to International Broadcasting Association. For further information on our program and schedule, you may drop us a line, including also your comments on the programming that you have just heard. Right for IRS, PO Box 10980, in 20110, in the Milan, Italy. that I have visited. This is an ideal place for group meetings and reading. The atmosphere is cozy and friendly. The book coffee shop model opens a culture space which helps encourage reading habits in the community. And now we'll take you to Hanoi's old quarter through a beautiful song, sung by Tui Chi. And this is also our farewell gift to you guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. blood. Ugh, quite a nightmare. Xiang Liu could no longer damage the dams. But there was another problem. The yucky blood from the monster's body really stank up the whole place. This was a major pollution disaster. In fact, this might be the first record of environmental pollution in human history. This was silting water. That should be easier than changing the nation's waterways. The Great Yu buried the bloody mess with dirt. And then the whole earth caved in. He then dug a huge hole and made it into a huge pool. And then he built something like a temple by the side of the pool to keep the spirit of the monster in check. Uh, pointed to uh, Australia. No, no, no. We are pointed to the southeast of Europe and to the northwest. And we will change that uh, direction. Probably we will use a cross dipole. So we can use uh, both directions, all directions. And also can switch between them uh, as well. Yeah. Of 
means uh, of changing the frequency. Uh, the 90 meter band there uh, also, the, ch the signal changes with the uh, light. In 15.075 you can have no reception in Holland. I think about uh, 2,000 kilometers uh, from Holland, the uh, first reception is possible. And on the uh, world globe, I hope so. <laughs> to the southeast of Holland, uh, from Holland and northwest. Um, for this hour, that's not a very good uh, direction, so we have to change that. Maybe next time. Yeah, a very good uh, morning, Mike Radio Broadcasting to you from Holland on frequency 5880 and 15075. Uh, if you want to drop a line to the studio, mikeradio.nl, all info is found there on the website, mikeradio.nl, and NL is like November Lima, mikeradio.november Lima, yes.
中招待我们公司，有也得注意，好没？拜拜。怪唔得人哋话广州大蛇日日都系虚咯。They want uh, a sleep. We, we, we get them a sleep in place first. So of course, we have a food for dogs and cats. We have me medical. We have all of, all of it. According to the UNHCR, more than 1.5 million refugees had crossed from Ukraine into neighboring countries as of Sunday, and that's uh, since the Russian invasion started well, late last month. You're listening to the Beijing Hour. 60 minutes of comprehensive news. Your window on China and the world. We're at 36 minutes past the hour now. Chinese stocks closed lower with the benchmark Shanghai Composite Index down 2.2%. of Turkey's English language transmission, broadcasting from Ankara in the 49 meter band between 1930 and 2030 UTC on 6050 kilohertz to Europe, between 2130 2230 UTC in the 31 meter band on 9610 kilohertz to South Asia and Australia, between 23 and 24 UTC in the 49 meter band and on 5960 kilohertz to Europe. Eastern USA and Canada 
and in the 31 meter band on 9660 kilohertz between 1730 and 1830 UTC, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. The verse of Turkey is also beamed between 4 and 5 UTC in the 49 meter band and on 6125 kilohertz in Europe, USA, Eastern Canada and Cuba between 4 and 5 UTC in the 41 meter band on 7,285 kHz to Iraq, Syria, Iran, and the Arabian Peninsula. You can listen to us over the TurkStar Relay and 4A satellites and on the internet at trt.net.tr through the Voice of Turkey link. Please note that transmissions broadcast between 22 and 23 UTC and between 3 and 4 UTC have been pre-recorded. Our email address is EnglishDesk at trt.net.tr And now news in English. Turkey has announced a tripartite meeting with Ukraine and Russia to be held at the Ontario Diplomacy Forum later this week. We will host this meeting in a tripartite format in Ontario on Thursday, March the 10th. I'd imagine with a, a number of your uh, members who are currently in Russia, um, what, what kind of experiences are you being told about that makes you concerned about their ability to leave Russia if they don't have this uh, this ability to terminate their contract? With more than 190 member countries involved, securing a new agreement will be difficult. The legal nature of any new agreement remains to be defined by talks. The WHO uses special words to describe such agreements. The WHO generally calls it an instrument. The agency has three kinds of instruments. Recommendations, regulations, and conventions. You want to contact us on the episode you're hearing? Visit our website at Or talk to someone at Focus on the Family. Call 1-800-8-FAMILY. With a parent's permission, of course. We always love hearing from you. And now, the conclusion of today's adventure night. Sounds like Dan is getting himself in pretty deep. I think I know how this is going to turn out, too. Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. The only way to find out is to keep reading. Okay. When Jeremy's mother told her husband that some bully had mugged their poor child, he was furious. <laughs> Turkey, 
Ladies and gentlemen, hello. This is Ali Rai Sarikaya from Voice of Turkey. Day 9th of March 2022. You are listening to the news. The death toll from Russian aid strikes on Ukraine's northeastern city of Sun has risen to 22. There's a radio station that doesn't suck. Laser hot hits. Von der konservativen Oppositionspartei Partei Macht des Volkes ist zum neuen Staatspräsidenten der Republik Korea gewählt worden. Nach einem kopf an kopf rennen konnte Jung mit dem bisher geringsten Stimmenunterschied die Wahl gewinnen. Presidents of Texas. Welcome to the BBC World's Anastasia Marshall, and this is News Zone. 
We're now going to hear a report from the fighting on the front line with the Ukrainian army. And it's from eastern Ukraine, the country, the country's southern city. A Russian armored column was fought back in the early days of the invasion, and then the city suffered mighty Russian airstrikes and shelling. Most of the city's one and a half million people have fled. The BBC correspondent Quentin Sullivan and cameraman Baron Conway have um, Conway rather have spent the week with the Ukrainian forces as they fight to stop a further Russian advance. Here's the report, and just to warn you that you may find parts of it distressing. What they do? They put him out. You want the Bible tells us that I should the same chapter at this perennial Tia Church age. Yeah, he be well standing here. Yeah, and uh, and then he gained the weight back for the Batman role quickly after that. And uh, yeah, so it's just, um, and uh, you have a, a few other stars that did the same thing. But it takes a toll on your body, and it's not something that's encouraged, but yeah, it just shows the determination of some of these, um, you know, talented people. Yeah, I called that professional action shit, because people normally just see the glamour of being a celebrity, being an actor, actress, but yeah. most of the time, in order to portray a really good character, you gotta really fit yourself, both physically and mentally, into that role, and sometimes, it's going to leave a afterward effect on your mind and brain. If you and you would like to become a partner with this ministry, please send all correspondence and financial contributions to Harvest Church, 303 Grooms Road, Clifton Park, New York, 12065. To download today's message and view our complete media library, or if you'd like to know more about this ministry, you can find us at soldoutforjesus.com. Until next time, remember that you too can be sold out for Jesus because Jesus is alive. you mentioned basically spending good time with yourself with this so-called fragmented time. Okay, this might sound strange, but what about approaching strangers and talking to people? Listener's Letterbox. Welcome everyone to a fresh installment in our mailbag series. I am your host, Vlad Palku. As usual, this week we got feedback from you in connection with our broadcast, and quite a few letters and reports focused on the developments in Ukraine, our coverage and reports, as well as on Romania's response to this international crisis. And whether your economy can function. Mm-hmm. Well, we're speaking with Aina Tengen, author and columnist, and also Winston Wang, an investor and former diplomat. And after a short break, we'll take a look at China's economic priority for this year. Stay with us. I am Alka Acharya. I teach at the Jawaharlal Nehru University in India. Today has uh, organized its programs and uh, its stress on uh, bringing in a lot of views uh, from all over. And I have actually got a platform for uh, information and analysis and I wish it all success in the future. You're listening to this today and Zhang Yang in Beijing. China has set its GDP growth target at around 5.5% for this year. Focus on Romania. Coming up next on Radio Romania International. Simply Folk. Welcome to Simply Folk. I'm Eugen Nasta. Today you're invited to listen to a traditional song performed by Polina Gheorghe of southern Romania's Argeș County, a song praising the advent of spring. I 
And there are close to 5,000 satellites operating currently, with more and more being set up each year, and probably a good number of those that are no longer operating. What is normally done with a satellite or related space gear once it's taken out of operation? Radio Delta, op dit korte golf.